সবাই সুস্থ আছে তো এখন কোন কোন খবর নেই তো যে কেউ অসুস্থ হয়ে পড়লো বা কিছু হলো সবাই সুস্থ Now anyone can start. Uh, if you have any, any, any doubt or compl confusion, complication, if you feel anything regarding this field theory, because we'll have to deal with this field theory right now. The communication engineering is basically based on field theory. In a short, it is very simple to explain the engineering related to electronics and telecommunication. It has two parts. One is circuit and device, but for to generate and manipulate the signal. Then, this is the part of the transmitter. The whole transmitter is like this. Then you throw it to the medium or free space. So for throwing and receiving, you need one very specific device, what we call antenna. Antenna is a part of our curriculum, particularly this curriculum also. Because you have to have some mechanism so that your circuit matches with the free space. Because your ultimate Playground is free space, mile after mile, kilometer after kilometer is the free space. And then you need to receive it. So again, you need circuit and devices, and again with the help of an antenna. So this is the basic model. That's why one part is circuit theory device electronics, and the other part is the field theory. It is as simple as that. And your, you see, your whole curriculum is based on the signal processing, signal handling, uh, signal amplification, power amplification, everything related to the processing the signal or handling the signal in your circuit level, or to transmit over a line or over free space. So right now we are concerned about the signal transmission. The first part we, we saw typical, typical uh, transmission line, physical transmission line. And in the second module, second part, we are seeing transmission line, which is not like the traditional transmission line is like a hollow transmission line. That means this hollow transmission line is carrying electromagnetic energy or electromagnetic fluid. Should I share what's the total count right now? 25, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, can you see? No. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Good. Yes, sir. Good. So I repeat from here that solve Maxwell's equation. Somehow it has stopped again. I'm sharing it. Yes. 
yes, I stopped here that the ultimate uh, approach would be handling Maxwell's equation. And from Maxwell's equation, rather it is commonly told that Maxwell equation has to, or, or equations have to be solved under a given boundary condition. It is, it is the, the typ typical approach of uh, electronics engineers. So we start from one, that is step one, Maxwell's Carl equation. You, you note it. You note this term, the charge-free, non-conducting medium. What does it mean? That is the very basic equation, which is also valid since the time of Faraday. That is non-conducting. and charge free medium Faraday kintu charge dhore ni charge er kono proyojon chilo na conduct conducting medium ta kono proyojon chilo na but it is not exactly faraday because the treatment is in terms of field faraday faraday kintu field chilo na faraday kaaj kore chilo emf voltage niye so this is the transform form to consider field only so it is it is the transform form of Faraday's equation for electromagnetic fields. Tomre Likcho. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Irakum Lekha Kana Holo Bustabacho. ये डांडे के ये टाइम टाइम लिखा हो लो क्या नो लिख लाम कैन एनीवन एक्सप्लेन इट ये टाइम लिख लाम तो ना मैंने नहीं लिखा नो इट किस भावे लिखा हो लो हाउ अम्म कौनो कथा सुनते बच्चे ना आई नीड योर वॉइस I'm sure to watch in a gotha. Ato ato suye cano, low volume cano. Someone else on no go to gotha volo de kick and volume coma chicano. Someone else, please stop. Yes, sir. Ah, it a tick bachi. Sir, maybe our network is a problem. Sir, you can tell me how to tell me. I can tell you how to tell me. Anyone, I can tell you how to tell me. I can tell you how to tell you. I can tell you how to tell you. Or not. Or not. Arnob, Deep, Orko, anyone? Anyone? Why is it so? Hello, sir. Hmm, Bolo. Potomoto, to sir, B equal to, sir, mu or H, Amrajani, B equal to a Right. Our unit vector is only electric filter cross multiplication. Money, sorry, cross multiple cross product. I don't know. Mute at a mu mu age is fine. Omega got the yellow. J got the yellow. Omega zeta yellow, sir. Sir, we cable Joe. Nambolo. Renal, sir. Eh? Renal. I'm sure the Vachina. Marina, Marina, what is a Marina? Marina, any of your friend, friend can join. 
স্যার ইলেকট্রিক ফিল্ড কে আমরা স্যার এক্সপোনেনশিয়াল ফর্মে তো লিখতে পারি স্যার মানে ইকুয়ালস টু ই নট ই টু দি পাওয়ার জে আবার আবার কোথায় আবার শব্দ হচ্ছে তোমার তোমার বাড়িতে কুকুর ডাকছে নাকি পাড়ায় হ্যালো স্যার b is equals to b b equals to b0 e to the power minus j omega মানে কোন একটা ফিল্ড কে ম্যাগনেটিক ফিল্ড কে তার এক্সপোনেনশিয়াল ফর্মে যদি লিখতে পারি b is equal to b0 e to the power minus j omega t তাহলে ডেল তাহলে ডেল ওয়েল ইউ শুড ইউ শুড টক ইন ইন সাম ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ সো দ্যাট ইওর अदर फ्रेंड्स তুমি জানো তোমার মধ্যে কিছু অবাঙালি বন্ধু আছে যারা বাংলা বুঝতে পারে না সো ইউ ট্রাই টু টক ইন ইন দ্য সায়েন্টিফিক ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ explain now b can be expressed in expressing exponential form b equals to b 0 e to the power minus j omega t so when we will do it why why you are right absolutely you are right b can be expressed in terms of in terms of exponential no in terms of time harmonic form that is called b equal to b not e to the power j omega t অর্থাৎ এটা একটা টাইম হারমোনিক সিগন্যাল সাইনোসয়ডাল সিগন্যাল সেই জন্যই তুমি লিখতে পাচ্ছ ডু ইউ ফলো মি ইয়েস স্যার ইয়েস ইয়েস আমাদের এটি ইজ ফাংশন অফ টাইম অ্যাকচুয়ালি দি ফিল্ড ইজ অফ ফাংশন অফ টাইম এন্ড ফাংশন অফ স্পেস আমি কিন্তু ফাংশন অফ স্পেস এখন ধরিনি ট্রাই টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দি ফিজিক্স ইট ইজ এ টাইম হারমোনিক সিগন্যাল সো इट्स ডেরিভেটিভ ক্যান বি রিটেন ইন দিস ফর্ম do it. does every, everyone understand it is it clear yes sir yes sir it's clear now okay so that's why since it is time harmonic it is represented like this abar atke geche ami ar pere uthi nai system ta ke niye ki hoyeche ke jane কি কিছু বলছো কেউ কে বলো তুমি কে বুঝলে না কেন বুঝলে না বলো ইউ অন ইউর অন ইউর হোয়াইট পেপার ইউ রাইট ই ইজ ইকাল টু ই জিরো ই টু দি পাওয়ার ই টু দি পাওয়ার জে ওমেগা টি then derive it del e del t ki asbe right hand side e j omega e not j omega e not e to the power j omega t tai to asbe tar mane tomar ultimately ki helo tomar helo j omega e eki jinish helo right hand side e so the time derivative means you are multiplying by j omega ar to kichu noy er bujhe so b is written in the form of mu h so its its derivative means multiplied by j omega you come to equation 2 just j omega now you look at this equation this equation is actually derived from uh ampere's law or ampere maxwell's law you see there is no conduction current so there is no j term here is no j term only del d del t so we are dealing with the fields only d means d means this is is it a correct, correct expression 
Yes, sir. At a bhool ache. Yeah, epsilon not have you can mute. Not, no, 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 not not epsilon not. Epsilon not is not yet. Sorry, 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 epsilon, epsilon. It will be epsilon, exactly. Yes, sir. It will be epsilon. Correct it. Because D is equal to E epsilon or epsilon E. Okay, so from these two equations, can you write this thing left hand side for the equation 2? For equation number 2, can you write this? I think you know about uh, vector product, cross product? Yes, sir. Okay, so left hand side is expressed and right hand side is expressed in these two forms. Again, it is the same mistake. You need to change it. It will be all epsilon. Now it is corrected here. <clears throat> so when you when you solve it. So are you happy with the equation three? Ek to hana bol be. Ami kiji puste bache na. Yes, sir. Hmm. Can you go to the slide? Are you are you comfortable with equation four? Equation four is from equation one. Yes, sir. Just show me the nature, not lecture. Sir, lecture, sir. Almost she lived there. Now, like you should the bar when again. And remember, a thorough derivation, Purika Amrake with Devona, a Purika Janana. It is to understand if the final product we produce, the engineers produce, and the whole world enjoys the product. Ashe ki kore. Tarmudhi ki mathematics ki understanding to keache as. Competent engineers, you should know this one. So that's why this derivation. It is not for examination. Do you know what is uh, that is the best definition of education? Follow education a definition shop to give hallo bakitong monaha education kake wale. Education is shikha, Bangla boli shikha. Shikha ki? Class 1 theke shikha shuru. You learn through experience. Class 1 theke shikha shuru hai, shikha kono shesh hai na, taito? Aad jodhi formal education, then it goes up to the master's level. So class 1 to class uh, top master's. PAMA, BSC, MSC, BTEC, MTEC. Eito, education is range. The best definition was given by Einstein. Einstein ki bolo chilen jano? Dekhi ek jun ko bolte pari ki na? Ek jun ko bolte parbe? Anyone? He told that we we are taught many things formally or informally throughout your life and we forget most of the things 
even after that what is retained that is our education shob kichu bhule jawar pore muche jawar pore ja pore thake amader jibone amra ja shikhi that is education ei eduk ei pore thaka ta bhule jawar pore jeta pore thake ei pore thaka ta jar joto beshi she toto beshi shikkhito ar je joto beshi shikkhito a man who is learned he is more illuminated he is more enlightened je sob kichu dekhe othoch kichu bojhe na she kintu actually enlightened na she dekhe bote but tar kache shei alor kono kono mullo nei so try to be more enlightened more illuminated you can thoroughly copy this 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 two lines i already explained this oh no it is not yet explained explained but it is it is important for you ekhon bujhte parbe na the physics behind this will be taught very soon i porishkar kore bolbo যা কোনো বইতেও লেখা নেই কোথাও কেউ বলেও না ইউ জাস্ট নোট ইট ডাউন অন্ধের মতো লিখে নাও বাট ইউ উইল আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড the basic meaning is that our cross section is x and y and wave is propagating along z so the variation is along z so let's first try the tangential component the tangential component means ex ey hx hy so for finding our solution we assume that they are varying exponentially with time they are varying exponentially with space along which direction to the direction of propagation this that is called the longitudinal direction so this is one example that i am taking ex therefore similarly we can write it hopefully you agree with this there is no problem we have two sets of components one for x and one for y yes sir so it is the derivative with respect to z tar mane o z er shonge shonge kemon vary korche eta o ma jante hobe tar mane amar uddeshyo ki so my aim is to find out the nature of field to study the nature of field over z on field which is distributed over the cross section cross section means x and y therefore now we apply these relations the above relations to our 3 and 4 তুমি অ্যাপ্লাই করো করে দেখো ইকুয়েশনটা আসছে কিনা দিস ইজ অল ফাইভ ফাইভ এ ফাইভ বি ফাইভ সি থ্রি ইকুয়েশন আর ইউ ডান Yes. No, sir. No, sir. One minute. And you, you, you look at this equation. Interestingly, each line it is 
expressed as a function of e y sorry h as a function of e h as a function of e h as a function of e Are you done? Yes, sir. Okay. So, let's see. So, this is equation 6. 6a, 6b, 6a. And here, all E components and their derivatives, they are expressed in terms of Hx, Hy, Az. We are dealing with the transverse field. But this is not true. This is not true because you, you look at here, transverse field in the right hand so no, it is on the actually we, we try to find out the transverse field, but EZ components are there. Here AZ components are present. The main main uh, approach, the task is easy to express the transverse field components in terms of the longitudinal components. That is, ET by HT. I'm sure we're looking at T means transverse. So ET means EX, EY, HT means HX, HY. Okay. And these two are Z components, EZ and AZ. So based on these derivations, it is just simple manipulations and based on this derivation, we can write HX is this. This is very significant relation. You should remember it. H square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon. So you will you will learn it later on, and its significance. Are you okay with equation seven? Yes. Should I proceed to next slide? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask you 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 to ask This will take a different shape, different form very soon, but it is very fundamental relation for you. So we derive 7 and in the same line, same way, we can derive other tangential components. So our left hand side are the tangential fields and right hand side are all the source fields. Source fields are key, all Z, that is AZ and EZ, AZ and EZ. Our primary aim is to find out the tangential, sorry, yes, the, the, the transverse components, not tangential, transverse components in terms of the longitudinal components. So 8, 9, 10 are fine. Yes. The set of equations 
7 to 10 are important. They allow us to study both transverse electric and transverse magnetic modes. You are totally grey. Kichu buste bachana. Seven to ten. Are you are you comfortable with this? At least mathematically. At least mathematically. Yes, sir. mathematically. Mathematically, it is fine. Okay. But the last statement, it is not very clear to you. Yes, First one who conceived this type of waveguide he, and, and used waveguide for transmission purpose? So your voice is very low, sir. So your voice is very low. Understand it. Because my microphone is a bit away from me. The topic I am discussing it is actually waveguide, right? I was asking yes, you know. Yes, sir. The person who first used waveguide, first conceived waveguide, imagined waveguide. Chilo na the prithvi the waveguide ke waage bahar ko tago korto na. Jolet pipe chilo, fuda pipe chilo, bashi chilo. Ki dero ko ekta simple rectangular metallic. Cage, metallic pipe for electromagnetic wave. So, who is the first person who used it? First person who used it. You don't know. Right? No, sir. Yeah. He was a Bengali. Can you guess? Jesse was. That right. Jesse was. Right. Without doing any calculation, any understanding, <coughs> he made it. But no analysis, no physics, mathematics. Nothing was known that time. So next question is, is a painful thing who did it for the first time? Have you any idea? Marconi. Marconi to more hi hai. Marconi ei analysis kore kotha theke. Marconi school o pass kore ni. School o shesh kore ni. School er eight nine ni bade shesh. Ekote onorogum log lag, Egulo Marconi, Marconi de Havana. Maxwell. Maxwell. Maxwell the Kobe Morigate. Bosch Kodaji Consul, don't they know? Darony. Maxwell, sixty four, sixty four, er Pore, Ponoro Joko, Kotohai. Seventy nine. Na? 79. 79. 1879 Maxwell Maragache. Our eighter Kaj Hoche, a web guide Jesse Bose did it in 1894. What are Maxwell though? Lord Raleigh. 
Lord Raleigh was Bose's professor in in Trinity College, London. So he visited India, and when he observed it, he was curious to know and understand the physics. So on the way back, talking to Jahaji Jete Hoto. So during his uh, return travel to England, he used this time to analyze this mathematically. So it was first done by Raleigh. The Maxwell solving Maxwell's equation under a given boundary condition. But what you see today, Amraj Akonjigulo Kori, it is Lord Raleigh uh, preparation now. It is different. So later on, extensive work with rectangular waveguide was done by another American physicist, the Namchilo Southward. So it is actually Southward's treatment. Southward treatment. In Southward, later on, the engineers found that it is it is very valid, very logical, and useful. Okay, so let's see about. Dekhi Amar and uh, the nature of excitation. You cannot understand this term. So Amar Polish slide ki awasta dekhi niye ta bara ami dekchi ki kora jay. Anyone can. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, you try to understand. I'm going back. You can you just write these terms, uh, the statements? You just keep the notes. I mean, I can't keep you to just to just look it up. Later on, you you automatically will realize when I explain the next next two two three slides. Have you noted it down? Completed? No, sir. So one minute, sir. Yeah, just just keep the note. Everything, every aspect will be clear very soon. You can consult David Poser, microbe by David Poser. And Jordan and Balmain. Jordan and Balmain for the, for this analysis. I mean, the Jordan and Balmain reference to the bullet chilam, then at the beginning. No, sir. I just said Sadi Kudi. Jordan, Jordan and Balmain. Jordan and Balmain is the most fundamental book. Prothom boy prithivide. And Jordan and Balmain Nam Tamar Monini, it is the classical book. You just go to Google and some radiating systems and something like that. Jordan and Balmain boy account the Indian edition pause, So you can you can see it. So I'm going to next next slide. Going to next okay. slide quickly. Ever ask you pure engineering aspect, eh? then we'll again go back to analysis. Now the analysis to Akashir Bushunirbur Kur Labne, it is based should be based on our understanding. What is this? This is waveguide, and what is the front face? It has the Shundur to borrow Chaktin of the Haya Chetaki. Cross section. It is called flange. Flange is required to engineering purpose to to uh, to connect to the next next piece otherwise it is just a single piece 
ये एक तो छोटू मेटलिक पीस सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल एक्चुअल जियोमेट्री लुक्स लाइक दिस क्वेश्चन इज जस्ट दिस सिंपल वेब गाइड इट इज नॉट यूजफुल बिकॉज यू नीड टू आइडर एक्साइट इट यू नीड टू लॉन्च इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड or extract electromagnetic field from it that means from external that is the coupling with some external circuit is required so first you consider we need to excite it ami ekhane field launch korbo how do i do it ami ki kore field ta launch korbo so this is one of the schemes by which i can launch the field eta ki bujhte pachcho eta what is this it is a coaxial probe central conductor is just inserted through this it is symmetrically at the center and lambda by 4 away from the center uh, from from one face and there is one coaxial probe question is why because i want to launch electric field or electromagnetic field so it is not really electromagnetic you look the next picture so this is the probe inserted through this so what will happen electric field gulo ki hobe or kache ekta electric sorry at rf current ache but this current will try to complete the path and when this part is conduction current and this part will be একটু বলো কথা বলো একজন কেউ আমার সঙ্গে থাকো ইট উইল বি ফিল্ড দ্যাট উইল কানেক্ট দিস দিস মেটালিক পার্ট টু দিস মেটালিক পার্ট সো বাই দিস ওয়ে ইট উইল ক্রিয়েট এ কন্টিনিউটি সো ইলেকট্রিক ফিল্ড উইল বি লঞ্চ বাই দিস সো ওয়ান্স ইউ লঞ্চ দিস ফিল্ড ইট ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইলেকট্রিক ফিল্ড দেন দিস ইলেকট্রিক ফিল্ড উইল টেক্স ইটস ওন শেপ সো এভরি half cycle after every half cycle it will change its polarization you already have seen this mode of propagation of the of the electromagnetic wave which is propagating through a rectangular guide so this is one way of excitation one way of launching electric field etuku ek bar jodi tumi kore dao then it will take it will take its own shape own way of propagation
Yeah, hopefully uh, 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 all have joined. Yes, sir. And then, okay. Are you the booking yet? Chill out. Call the police. Call the police. Sir, electric field propagation. Apni bolte chile. Electric. I'm asking if you can do the phone call. Now, the first thing is that I mean, the virtual world. Virtual world. Ever the Kayache? Has it? The Kayache Amibol Amibolechi. This is the one of the techniques. Amada Hatheto Kubeshi technique Hagbena. What are our means? I'm Kibabu excited with the party. It's the best possible way to excite by coaxial cable. So I can insert coaxial cable, cable and if, if, if I do this thing, electric field will take this shape. Then I told, if the electric field is like this, so from this side, what will be the nature of electric field? If it is so, then what will be the nature of electric field? These are the electric fields. Blue lines are the electric fields. Every, every uh, lambda by 2 separation, they will take this shape. And their associated magnetic field will be circular because they will be perpendicular, they will be tang tangentially. Yeah, it's perpendicular to electric field, but they cannot end at the walls, metallic walls. Because normal component of magnetic field has to be zero. So they, they have no option. They will have to take a turn at the at the wall. Here also. So once they take turn, they will have to be circular in nature or closed path eventually. Therefore, the magnetic field for this type of arrangement will be uh, a closed path and electric field will be just vertically oriented. And if you notice it, there is no longitudinal component, no Z component of electric field. So this type of arrangement we call, it is transverse to Z. It is called transverse to Z. Transverse to Z and we call transverse electric because electric field is transverse to Z. Yeah. Okay, 28 now. Uh, is it shared? This screen is shared with you? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. So this is this okay. I'm going to this. It is it is it is transverse to Z. So you should be careful to write it is transverse electric. 
This type of arrangement is called transverse mode. Mode means how electric and magnetic fields are oriented in a given boundary condition. Their spatial distribution. Permanent over the space, how are they distributed? That is called the mode. And this mode is electric is transverse always. So it is called transverse electric and better to write T to Z transverse electric with respect to Z axis. In motor kishe kaje lage, what are the utility, what are the typical uses, utilities of this mode? You look at this practical scenario. This is the mode launcher. It is the adapter. So, the coaxial probe is connected over here. This is the flange. And this flange is like this. So, this flange is connected to real wave guide. So, once it is screwed up through, through these four holes, then it is, it is one integrated part. And what is launched over here, that will be propagating. This is another application. Either this, this launcher or adapter, you can couple with the guide, you can couple with the horn. This is a typical horn antenna which is used. So this horn is actually rectangular mouth, rectangular that is gradually flared, and it is the it is for the purpose of using it as antenna. So you can excite this antenna. The similar antenna, the similar horn antenna, similar attachments. Uh, are available in our laboratory, in the antenna measurement laboratory, you can see. So this mode, it is one of the options. The mode is transverse electric. And when when we, we excite it, we launch the field in this fashion. Now, there may be a different way of excitation. I want a different kind of excitation. Through a hole in the broad wall, it is called a narrow wall. Through a hole in the broad wall, we inserted one electric probe. Suppose it is a different technique on this wall. It is the shorting wall. I am creating one hole and inserting this, this probe through it. It looks like this. It, it will be like this. Okay. But it's it's inside. Actually, the, the structure, the schematic structure looks like this. Either you can keep like this. Either the probe will be just inserted. Or I can I can make it grounded. It, it is always recommended for this type of uh, arrangement. Because your electric field, the electric walls is far from this probe. So for better launching, we can make it like this. When the when the electric field, sorry, when the electric current forms a loop, it will create a magnetic field around this. Either. It will create a magnetic field around this. It is from ampere. The straight conduction current will create one magnetic field surrounding this. That means magnetic field will be with a complete uh, closed path surrounding this electric wall. That is magnetic field is not a problem. Magnetic field is maximum on the surface. The tangential magnetic field is maximum on the metallic body, metallic surface and normal component has to be zero. So, it will take the shape.
So in that case, your magnetic field will be totally transverse to Z. Dekho, kono H component nahi, sorry, kono Z component nahi. There is no Z components. But electric fields accordingly, the electric fields are accordingly changed. They are taking this, this path. Because this electric field is under the control of magnetic field. So who is the launcher? In earlier case, electric field was the dominant factor and magnetic field had to follow electric field. Here, who is launcher? Magnetic field is the main player. So magnetic field, it is, it is called magnetically coupled fields, a uh, coupled guide. An earlier one was electrically coupled guide. So when it is magnetically coupled, magnetic field is transverse and electric field is not. So this is called trans. So it is actually TM. This is actually this is called transverse magnetic mode. TM to Z. So these two are the possible modes that persist that can satisfy the required boundary conditions which is required for propagation through this waveguide. So we are finally left with two options. Either it has to be transverse electric or has to be transverse magnetic. But they cannot be together, the both transverse electric and magnetic together. You will learn, definitely will learn, you will realize that why not? That is also an important question, but why not? So, what is written in the slide, few statements, now do you get the, the real meaning of, of those lines? Can you read those lines about P and TM? Again, go forward. The set of equations 7 to 10 are important. They allow us to study, bo uh, study both transverse electric and transverse magnetic modes. Hmm. The nature of excitation in a given boundary condition determines whether it's going to uh, launch TE or TM. Both T or TM at a time are not supported. Anyone can examine by putting EZ equal to AZ equals to zero. So are you are you are you fine with this? The nature of mm -hmm. the set of the nature of excitation in a given boundary condition determines whether it is going to be T or TM. Do you follow my parent? Yes, sir. It is up to you. You will decide that which type of modes I am going to use in my website. If you excite in the type 1, it is T. If you excite in the type 2, it is TM. Okay. Both T, both T or TM, both T, TM is not the right term. Both T and TM, at, yeah, T and TM at it, at it. At a time or not, which is not the right sentence. Oh, both T and TM at a time. Or oh, it is not or it is at. So P and TM at a time are not supported. So you understand that one. You cannot have T yes, and TM together. 
anyone can examine by putting EZ equal to zero. Achha, amra jee equation ko thodi kore chhi. You thora actually to do one thought experiment. EZ and HZ ke zero boshi jao dekhi. Tomar set of equation saath saath theke dosh. Ki hoy dekho. T and TML main short to hoche in case of T is it equal to zero in case of TM is it equal to zero suppose you consider that in my guide I want both is it and is it zero what's up here so show me zero one of the field here provided for well Yes, sir. Mathematics they both check. Physics they all like in a shit. I'm not for it. Definitely physics money. Physically, you will have to understand mathematics. Yeah, both that is that is a mathematical interpretation. You are engineer, so you need to know it in terms of its physical boundary conditions. Okay, so that you will see later. So let's start the next phase of solution. हमरा step one तक कर लाम। equation को लोग के बाल कोरे नहीं चाहिए। Now we need to go for the next step. Here it is the wave equation. Wave equation तो हमारे लिखते हैं वे वही boundary मोड़ दे। So I need to write this wave equation for this boundary, which is charge free. In a in a uh, wave guy, there is no charge, there is no loss. और मत देखो ना loss नहीं, no conduction loss। हमें तो कोन मेटर रख नहीं। so the medium is dielectric medium either air or any dielectric air is also a dielectric if it is air then we write mu zero epsilon zero if it is not air it is any other medium we can write anything uh, तुमरे जानो ये इक्वेशन टक की कोरे डिरेक्ट करा जाए ये ये हेल्मोस इक्वेशन और वो भी इक्वेशन हाउ डू हाउ डू डिरेक्ट दिस ओन तो जाना है सर ना सर ऐ ये हम शेज़न नहीं टक पॉर्ट एक लाइन नहीं टक कोल अच्छा इलेवन टाइम में पांच पॉर्ट पॉर्ट को सो a Helmholtz equation that you could derive for it. Let's see over here. Achha. Very quickly, you, sh you should use a separate sheet. Just what you can just dark the corridor. It is just in one of the intermediate treatment that how Maxwell's equation help you deriving Helmholtz wave equation. This equation, you know, so I, I use just one more operator that is one vector product. I'm taking a vector product on both sides. That is one um, simple vector treatment. Are you okay with this vector treatment? Yes, sir. So yes, write, sir. write it. B equal to mu h. So you can write this equation. Now del cross H. Do you know del cross H equal to del D del T? You already know this? From yes. Max, from Maxwell's equation? Yes, sir. So this, this part is fine? Yes, sir. Yes. So now you can write, you, you rewrite D in terms of E, so epsilon is out. So we can write this equation. Now, yeah, it is the, the, the simplest form. That, that's not a problem. Problem is now with the, the left hand side. You know, in a, in a vector identity, this can be written like this.
what is the value of this one? I I don't know what is what. Okay, okay, one by epsilon, del epsilon e. You just just write write this equation in this form. You just write this equation first the, the first term. Are you fine with this? Yes, sir. Divergence of D from Maxwell's equation? Zero. Why? It is actually rho. The volume density of charge. But in our case, it is charge free medium. So, divergence of D has to be zero. There is no charge in the medium. You get my point. The first term of this equation, I am trying to yes, evaluate. Sir. It has to be zero under this boundary condition. J boundary condition, it, it is zero. So if it is zero, then del square is equal to minus mu epsilon del del t. Okay. 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 So this is the form of equation. So you can you can take it on the left. And if it is so, then we will be going to back to our 11, equation number 11. No, 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 no. Yes. This is our. And you can do this homework. I mean, the derivation the column should be added to simplify column. You will get all these values. So we are writing because we want to solve. So one of the equations that we chose, our is it that any of the solution chilo. So once we find out is it, then we can find out is it and is it. Then we can find out the other components, other transverse components. So to solve uh, wave equations. Uh, do you agree with this? I don't know how to do it. Our EZ money taki. EZ money is E towards Z noi kintu. EZ means EZ. It is one component of electric field which is function of x, y and z. Is that money? It is not the function of z only. So if we write and split it into, into their dependences, then we can write one part as a function of x and y. That is their transverse dependence. And another is their longitudinal dependence. Because I have considered that this time harmonic field is propagating along the direction of Z. Ammonia chagya na ki ligi chila? E to the power, e to the power gamma Z or e to the minor minus gamma Z? Yes, sir. So I am writing the same thing but in a different form, in more explicit form. So I clarify EZ in this, in this, in this format. Comrade, last equation to take a, a can take you can find it out your solution. E ke dhorani tab e is equal to e not into the power omega t. That means that omega square chole as we see. We again question is shangi. Then identify that it is the same. And here I am just considering not the whole e. It is our, our interest is the e z. That's why I'm, my equation is in terms of e z. So this 11, so our 11 equation can be written in this form. Now you see, 
Do you agree or not? The part function of x function of y and the part function of z. Similarly, like 12, we can write equation 13. So this is the ultimate product of Helmholtz equation. And we need to solve, we need to solve both equations as per our requirement. Amar Munehai, I should stop here because I, I, I need to take... So can you please show the previous slide? Yeah, I'm going there. Just Jara Bolidi, Abel Ami, Aj Helmos equation, Gulu Tonikur and Ilam, I am ready, ready to solve this Helmos equation, but based on my engineering, Ami, a solution to find out for who I want to find out based on my engineering means what kind of mode I am going to treat, what kind of mode I am using. If I am using TM mode, I will, I will solve it for TM. If I am using, I am interested in T mode, I will solve it for T. No. Just wait for a minute. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. These two equations. Yes. So in next class we start the solution. Very interesting. And once you solve it, then you will find we finally we will be getting the very crispy equation and which is easy to visualize easy to understand from from uh, 
both application and engineering perspectives. Equation being a borrow of Thake, the consular visualize Korayana Choke Dakajan, Irma de equation, Kirogon wave equation, you cannot understand. Thermony AZ actor component accession of Harikori, actor component Y function are definitely actor component Z function. You should have Harikori, you have a gamma strong. Gamma ki gamma is the alpha plus J beta. Okay, so uh, our next yes, sir. next class is on Monday. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so I'm closing today. Okay, sir. Thank you. It is your Saturday, so you enjoy the day. And uh, I'll send the link on Monday. Actually, I'm sorry. I, I was supposed to send the link yesterday. But uh, it was too busy time for me. And it, the whole whole December month, December month is busy for me. So see you on Monday. Okay, sir. Thank you. You're welcome.